What's good, everybody? And welcome to a very special stream this Thursday morning. We are What's Good Games doing a watch along for the BAFTA Games Awards 2024 sponsored by the lovely folks at BAFTA. So thank you so much to them for reaching out to us to work with them for this event. Brittany, my friend, it is so good to see you. So good to see your lovely, beautiful, gorgeous face. How are you doing this fine morning? Oh, girl, do you want to keep it real? Do you want to keep it totally real? I got <sighs> of course, you know I, I always do. Keep it real. Plumbers and contractors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me just tell you one little thing, and then we can move on to the fun and the glory that is the BAFTA Awards. It is never a good thing when you come home on a beautiful sunny day and you see water coming through your light fixtures upstairs. Mm -mm. It's just never a good thing. Never, ever. So I will say if you hear something pounding or screaming, Screwing. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go anywhere else with that. It's uh, the, the contractors. So I'm going Excuse to try me. to mute if there's some lo lots of loud noises coming from my end, but hopefully you won't be able to hear them. But other than that, baby, it's a sunny day out here in the Pacific Northwest. You know, it's a whopping like 55 degrees. I'm feeling good. See, like now down here. here in sunny Los Angeles, we're having a weird heat spike, and it was 90 degrees yesterday. Holy it's crap. It's supposed to be close to that much in my neck of the woods today um which is you know very hot hence the hence the 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 bodysuit um you know i love award season and the baftas are always kind of like the end cap to the long award season for video games really kind of beginning with the game awards and then you know we've got things like dice and game developers conference and several others and um this is one of the award ceremonies that i would love to go to someday but it is just a tad far away from us here on the in the west coast of the United States, and so I'm very excited that we're getting to do this today, um, mm, because mm, I love mm, seeing yes. how different it is when um, different voting outlets kind of decide on the same same similar games and similar categories, and just how games can really shine in different award shows. You know, Andrea, one game that will probably never, sadly, be nominated for a BAFTA the BAFTA Awards. Um, Banjo Kazooie. Ah, oh. you know what game probably will be nominated forever and ever? Resident Evil. And I'm not saying that because there's a freaking <clears throat> there, there's a rat in the chat, Andrea Renee. Oh uh, boy, I was gonna say you're just going straight for the blood, like just right away. Listen, I haven't seen Paris in person in a very long time. I have a lot of aggression I need to take out on, and I'll take it. I'll take it through the chat. Yeah, enjoy your uh, Dead Game Awards, Paris. Enjoy hosting that someday, buddy. Oh, oh, the fire already. Um, I anyway. love it, though. It's going to be great. That means we're going to have a great show. So the show is going to start momentarily. We're just waiting for their stream to go live, um, and then we will switch on over to that but glad to see we have some folks joining us today i know we don't get to stream very often hey thirsty panda hey Yasman, key essence acania steve sailor welcome to the chat my friend and yeah. of course our friend vicious uh, paris nice to see you as well um we have i have a very special guest in my house who's in the dark back there um <laughs> <laughs> friend, friend of the show and one of our fun admins, Susu Dip Maria, is here uh, to help me uh, do some of the stuff for the stream today and hopefully provide some commentary. Um, Maria, I should mention that that mic is still hot back there. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. You know, you. It, was, it was funny, Andrew. You had, you had stepped away, <laughs> and I was like, Maria, where are you? Like, where are you talking to me from? And then I just see the glare of, in like, the back, glasses in, in the, the background. background. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm so like a little cat here. amongst all the stuff back here. Uh, I'm just like furiously like refreshing this feed being like, has it started? Did I miss it? What's happening? You know, technology is hard, my dear. It is. Also, it is shout indeed. out to Baldur's Gate 3 leading the number of nominations with 10. 10 nominations. Hefty, Lovely. hefty oh. list for them this year. And for mm -hmm. people who aren't familiar with the BAFTA, so this is uh, a British award show. And I really like how they kind of take a little bit of a different take on the awards than what we see at some of the other shows. I was interested, I was watching the red carpet and uh, Lucy James from, from GameSpot and Giant Bomb was there and she was actually interviewing her colleague and good mates, uh, Tamur, and he is part of the jury for the BAFTAs and he was kind of explaining that process. And it was interesting hearing how that is compared to what we do as jury members 
for the Game Awards, because we've talked about that openly on our show several times, that we have the honor of serving as jury members um, with a bunch of other, over 90 other media outlets. But it's a little bit of a different process for the BAFTA. So he had mentioned that there's like over a thousand voting members in the BAFTAs and that they are all on committees and they get one specific type of categories that they are evaluating and then they have like heated debates over you know who should be nominated and then obviously ultimately who should win and I always just kind of love hearing a little bit behind the curtain about what's How going on works. there yeah we uh we, we tend to have some fun little discussions when it comes to when it gets down to the wire for some of the nominations for the game awards it's always fun to get other people's perspectives and I think was it Doc last year you know she really helped us uh nail it down i think when it came to like best indie or something but either way like it's really fun you really hear how different games impact other people and which ones i mean they're all worthy of winning obviously which is why they're nominated but it's yes hear how things impact well and what we have impacted. been saying continually about the games that came out in 2023 was just how impressive across the board so many of the games were and just how difficult it was to select individual games for recognition when all of them could easily win the category on their own. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking at some of these fun little interesting facts about the awards. Oh, 11 of the 12 performance nominees are first time nominees. That's exciting. That is exciting. That is very exciting. I was going to go then try to find the, uh, I only have three monitors. I need like six. Let's just be real. Right. Let's look at the perform performance nominees. Here we go. Performer is, oh, in the leading role. Let's see what our nominees are for that. Amelia Tyler as narrator in Baldur's Gate 3. I love Amelia Tyler. Oh, my God. She is so talented, and I love all of her work. All right. We got Cal from Star Wars, Miles Morales, Neil as Astarion. Yep, Carlac. I mean, again, Peter Parker. I feel like everyone there should win. Everybody. Excuse me. Would you mind taking a picture? Everybody yeah, should win definitely. an award. I think we should have our What's Good Games Awards. But, but everyone wins. I don't know yeah. if anyone would really. Well, yeah. well, yeah. not everybody can win because then it's like you don't want to just do all, like all participation pr trophies all the time, right? Why not, though? You know, I know there's like a little participation trophy. I'm like, listen, everyone. Here, I'll draw you a Microsoft Paint picture. It can be a trophy, and everyone will win a Microsoft Paint trophy drawn by me, drawn by yours truly. I mean, that is a pretty impressive like get it's an I have to say your masterpieces are not to be underrated or estimated right I know and I'm saying you hold on to it. it's like a Charizard it's just going to appreciate in value <laughs> yes my, my art is comparable to that of a Charizard Pokemon card well Andrea don't you see you I, can say that you can act all cocky about it because you have several custom pieces for me I do I am so, so fortunate you know. that I have multiple pieces from you and yeah. You know, it's just one of the wonderful many parts that I love about being friends with you. Yeah, see, I have a friend of many talents. Okay, so everybody, we are just holding tight, waiting for them to go live. Um, hopefully they're not having technical problems because that would make the watch along not as exciting as it hopefully <laughs> will be. But we're just, you know, waiting for the, the stream to start. I have both the Twitch and the YouTube up in case one goes up over the other. And... Um, please let me know, everybody, if you guys see it and it hasn't come up on our stream yet. Um, we do have an incoming um, ad break happening on Twitch, so hopefully that'll get done before the... <laughs> I snoozed it thinking <laughs> I was like, I don't want an ad break to happen right as the show is starting, um, but maybe it will happen and then the show will start after it. But um, there's only well, so much only of those go. I can turn off, friends, so sorry about that. But, oh, I thank you, um, Hella Dope. This is one of my favorite necklaces that I don't get to wear very often. Can you move your mic? Oh, that's pretty. It kind of looks like something from Destiny. Right? Doesn't it? It's like very kind of sci-fi. Um, I'm into it, but because it requires me to wear like a like a full, like solid color. Because yeah. I've tried yeah, wearing yeah. it like on prints before, and it's just, you know, too busy. It's its own thing. It needs to stand by itself. It's its own state. That's why they call it a statement necklace, friends. Yeah. 
Yeah. Speaking exactly. of Destiny, since we're like we have a few minutes, I saw everyone was all excited about some Destiny stuff that was going on. Like, what? What's the scoop? Oh yeah, girl, there was a big old showcase this okay. week. Um, Rihanna and I briefly talk about it during the episode. Well, I shouldn't say briefly. We d- we definitely talk about Destiny <laughs> in the episode this week. Um, I didn't get a chance to deep dive into everything that they talked about before we had to record the podcast this week, which of course comes out tomorrow. But I am very much excited to rally back with the What's Good Guardians for the final shape. It's something we've been talking about for a couple of months now. And they kind of gave us a really good look at this new subclass that's coming and this new faction that is coming. And that's very exciting for me as a, as a longtime player. I know a lot of people are very much like ready for the final shape to happen. And I'm hoping that the thing Rihanna and I were discussing on the podcast was it like a return to that destiny water cooler moment that so many of us that have a long time experience with that game are super fond of like all of our friends playing at the same time and coming back to the game but how it has been really challenging over the course of many years to kind of keep up with all of the content updates that they keep doing but i Uh reminded her that it's easier than it's ever been to get back in but she's now at the ultimate hard stage for doing live service games that are always on, which is <laughs> infant. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, that, that's, that does make it tricky. It's interesting, because I remember when Jace was a little, I felt like I had all the time in the world because he was just a little potato and like, I can do everything. And now, well, you know, friends, they, 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 they have legs and they move and they use them very well. I they sure add. do. They sure do. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad that you're going to get back into Destiny. I know you hadn't really had the chance to lately. Did, now, there was always something that you wanted them to do. It was some sort of organizational, like, fix you wanted them to implement or something with shaders or something. Oh, yes. So, so, well, the shaders thing they did implement, thank goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, they allowed you to have, like, a universal shader system. They essentially, like, put, like, a, a transmogrification system into the game, finally. Uh-huh. Um, it just took a really long time for it to happen, but they did finally put it in there, and it's definitely so much better because of it. It definitely makes you know the fashion hour that happens when I used to stream Destiny um, much smoother and not nearly as boring for everybody watching. But oh I am, you know, I haven't streamed Destiny in a hot minute. I think I might, I think I might have to, you know, dust off the old, the old uh, Destiny chops uh, here on Twitch. So. Maybe make that maybe that happen. What do you think, guys? In, in watching on in chat, do you think that you'd be interested in watching me play more Destiny? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I haven't Ugh. said hi to the folks over on YouTube either. So we are co-streaming. Um, hey, Darren. Hey, Punctified. Good to see you, friend. Um, hey, Brianna. Hey, uh, brother Sharp TV. That's oh. a clever name. <laughs> Yodi Modi is over there too. Glad you guys could join us on this Thursday afternoon surprise stream. And hopefully you guys are having a good time. Um, I'm like slightly concerned the stream hasn't started yet. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I was just trying to see if anyone had put out a statement about where we're at. I mean, I mean, technology is hard. We at What's Good Games have had our fair share of issues. So like stuff happens. It sure it sure does. Um, I have I don't have Twitter up, so I don't know like what's going on over there. Nothing. Vasa hasn't tweeted anything out, so. You know what game I haven't been on the show in a couple of weeks? I started Andrea for the first time. Do you want to hear about it? Uh, yes, of course I do. It's called Grand Theft Auto V. What? <laughs> Shut the front door. You might have heard of it. Maybe, maybe not. I couldn't tell you. You're just so casual that way. I am. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just like the most casual gamer. I'm actually a <laughs> fake gamer girl. I don't know if you know. Oh, yeah, I know. But I thought you wanted me to sign under an NDA, so I did. But, like, I can expose Yeah, I guess I just outed myself now, didn't I? Yeah, well, good job. Wow, there goes our entire brand. Congratulations. Um, yeah. yeah. Is that Maria here in the background? Your beautiful, sultry voice? Yes. Well, I mean, okay. it's, a, an, it's an award show. It's a celebration, right? So I had to do a little bubbly. But also, uh, thanks, JT Sauce. That huge rock is so shiny, my transitions are turning to shades. <laughs> 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 I haven't even cleaned it in like in an egregious <laughs> amount of time. Don't tell my husband. Um, oh, I'm glad you're here, Yasmin, from the Twitch notification. That's great. Also, I want a drink. What the heck? Oh, well, it's fine. I'll get one later. Oh, it looks like it's starting. Okay, great. Let's see. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let me switch there. over to the other scene here.
Okay, I'm going to have to adjust the audio here. The master goes to Star Wars, night for the old Oh wait. So, and then everybody in chat, let me know if you want me to boost or lower the stream volume as we go along. I know sometimes finding that mix right away can be a little challenging. And the captions are just whatever is being provided by the live stream on YouTube, so sorry if they're not as efficient as you're used to. Hey, Foshi, what's good? Welcome to the chat. Yeah, Sam, that is not a ghost behind Andrea. That yeah, is our dear friend Murphy. <laughs> oh my god, I knew I should have put long pants on. <laughs> <laughs> it's always what happens, face. right? You should have put like a white gown on, like just all white. And like gotten like a black straggly wig. Okay, I'm gonna boost the vo stream volume. The Basta goes to Journey. Super Mario Galaxy. Three for ten! The last of us. How is that? Is that better? What remains of Edith Finch? I can boost it more. Vampire survivors. Hey, second opinion pro, welcome. Haven't seen you in a hot minute. What's good, Wolverine, Francisco, Mackenzie? Glad you guys are here for joining us for the stream today. How cool is that? In the words of Ellie, so effing cool. Yes, but I don't think we're gonna review their their outfits because that's not really what we do. But happy to provide some commentary. Getting dressed is hard. But the BAFTAs are definitely probably the most formal of all of the award shows in video games. DICE is, you know, a close second, but because DICE is in Vegas, it's kind of like a a crapshoot as to what people are going to wear. It's like the formality is like, are you wearing like a party dress or like a gown? Please welcome your host. Yeah, I will Bill say Wang. for some reason, I Hold on, I gotta boost Britney. All right, let's do it. Yeah, hello. Wow, look at this. Hello, BAFTA Games Awards 2024. Yeah. So good to see you. Uh, I'm your host, Phil Wang. Uh, I'm a comedian, writer, and hopeful future bad guy in a problematic Far Cry game. <laughs> okay, I'm in for that. Now, this is the 20th BAFTA Games Awards. 20 years, can you believe it? Isn't that amazing? I mean, that's how long we still have to wait for GTA 6. 20. <laughs> it's been an incredible year for games. Uh, the BAFTA Games Awards exist to recognize and celebrate the creative and technical achievements of the games we love. Uh, the Batwinkle says that they have to glam up in the UK because of the weather, but I think work, they're having a really nice day there today. Both in the room and around the world. We cannot celebrate these achievements without acknowledging that it has been a difficult year for many in the industry. With widespread layoffs impacting the livelihoods of friends, colleagues, and game studios. So it is more important than ever that we recognize your incredible achievements. We are proud to support and celebrate you all on your journeys as you continue to produce work that still blows our minds. It was an astonishing year for gaming and that's reflected in the quality of our nominees tonight. We have such a great evening ahead. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. I mean, first of all, what an impressive venue. Huh? I mean, this room's so big, some of you haven't even rendered for me yet. <laughs> it's actually a bit bright yeah. in here. Sorry, can, can we just adjust the slider so the people on the right are barely visible? Uh, yeah. uh, just a bit, a bit oh, light, lighter. Oh, it's so hard, this. And what's, what's barely visible? What's even. Uh, yeah, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Now, just a bit Amazing. of uh, housekeeping. Uh, please turn your phones on silent. Uh, it will oh. make you more undetectable in stealth mode. Yep, I'm on uh, silent. But not you guys watching at home. You stay on your phones, get two phones, dual wield your phones, and get involved using the hashtag BAFTA Games Awards. As for everyone in the room, toilets. I've marked them on your map. Oh, thank you. But if you're really desperate, you can set yourself a custom Wii toilet. Look, they can't all be winners. 
<laughs> in the event of emergency, the fire exit is through that door, but you will need to defeat all enemies before it opens. Now, before we get started, we would like to thank our official games partners, Epic Games, PlayStation, and Xbox, and to EE, our audience award sponsor. I am so honored, genuinely so honored to be a host this evening. I've always loved games. Uh, my first console was a Sega Saturn. Anyone remember those? I mean, of I course mean, we do. What an amazing console. I mean, you could play House of the Dead. Does anybody remember the I Sega Saturn? Gun. How dare you? I had a light gun to go with it. Man, I miss my light gun these days. More games should let me <laughs> use a light gun. It would definitely give me the edge in Animal Crossing. <laughs> give me those turnips now. Now, this year's nominees have given us such a wide range of experiences. I was a Jedi. I saved Hyrule and I finally fulfilled my dream of getting intimate with a bear. It was Brittany's dream too. Still don't know how I found Getting intimate with a one. bear? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of industry here tonight. Dream. Lot I'm of, still trying to sink these. important people. Um, and as well as stand-ups, I'm actually- Ah, oh, spelt uh, wrong. Good to see you, friend. Um, and as games directors are in the room tonight, if it's okay, I'd just like to quickly audition for any uh, upcoming roles you might need in <laughs> filling in your series, if that's okay. Um, okay. Uh, this is my audition for a guard in a stealth game after I shot him in the back. Huh? <laughs> what was that? I guess it was nothing. I guess it was nothing. They all me. say the same thing. It's so funny. Here. <laughs> and here is my audition for Mario. Huh, well, that's your problem right there. Seal and the U-Bend's cracked. Uh, <laughs> With material and labor, you'd be looking at 130, 150 pounds. Uh, sorry, that's a scene from his day job. Now, it hasn't just been- Wait, what happened there? It hasn't just been a- <laughs> It hasn't just been a great year for the big titles. You know, we've also played some incredible indie games this year. I love Chance of Sinar. Chance of Sinar, nominated tonight. A language learning game that recreates that sense of, I don't know what the hell anyone is talking about. The game equivalent of being on TikTok over the age of 30. How dare Cthulhu, you? I know what's going on on TikTok game. some yeah. of the time. <laughs> so rude for those of us that are chronically online. <laughs> Cocoon is a puzzle game in which you have no idea what to do. You're just frantically pressing one button. Just like my local bank cashier whenever I walk in there naked. That, yeah, awkward. Now, we have an incredible <laughs> array of games <laughs> being celebrated tonight. And please oh remember, my God. it's an achievement just to be oh, nominated. So congratulations see. on simply being here. It's uh, well done. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Unless you're a plus one, in which case, just don't steal too much stuff, please. Leading the nominations tonight is Alan Wake with eight. Alan Wake's here, Alan Wake two. Spider-Man 2 with 10. Wait, did he say leading nominations is Alan Wake? And Baldur's Gate 3 with an incredible 11 nominations. Oh, he did a bet. Okay, I see what he's saying there. Doing it backwards. Unfortunately, there Beard has been Yogi, some snubs not necessarily as well. a bad suggestion. Nothing at all for Skull Island Rise of Kong. But in his uh, defense, doing jokes Baldur's is hard. Three, doing Baldur's game jokes, especially for hard. Game. Best game, yeah. Baldur's Gate 3. I've, uh, but I will I, say, uh, like, his charisma, it's good. I've been having like, loads I don't care if the Baldur's jokes bomb, it's just, he's There's fun just to so watch. many difficult decisions to make that impact the rest of your oh. game, you know? And for example, uh, it's taken me 30 hours, but I've finally chosen Penis B. <laughs> I, nice. It just looks like it shares my values. I don't know. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, here is a list of uh, things my non-gamer girlfriend has called Baldur's Gate 3 to me. Uh, Balthazar Gang 3. Nice. Bowling Guys 3. Balding Goose 3. Balsamic Glaze 3. Baldur's Gate 2, nearly. <laughs> and this is the weirdest one. Phil, you're spending too much time on that thing. I think we should see other people. <laughs> Not even close. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 also nominated for best game. Amazing, amazing game. 
Insomniac's recreation of New York City is so Termite, I think if he was doing that many peppers. shots, it would go <laughs> very badly for him. <laughs> now, I know a lot about running around a city in a skin-tight bodysuit and mask. Yeah, James, I agree. The Wii Point one was funny. Does it, he's helping the police, and when I do it, I'm arrested by the police? What are the double standards? We're both oh, just I love this dress she's sticky wearing. men trying our best. Peggy 18, remember guys, Peggy 18. That's funny. Zelda, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is nominated to... <laughs> Zelda is a beautiful game, but I think the life lessons in it are a bit misleading. Like, you can cook chicken for five seconds and it's safe to eat. Definitely or misleading. It's a good idea to sneak up on a wild horse from behind. Or that you can build things by just gluing random bits of crap together. I mean, in Zelda, <laughs> you can build a working airplane in that way. Whereas in real life, what you actually get is a Boeing. Oh, <laughs> zing! Yeah, they've been having a rough Alan go. Alan Wake 2, Alan Wake yeah. 2 is nominated tonight. Yes, right. Alan Wake, let's go. Now, as well as, as well as best game, Alan Wake 2 is also nominated for animation, artistic, and technical achievement awards, deservedly. I mean, the graphics are incredible. I swear, half of the cutscenes look like real people. I, it's just <laughs> extraordinary. <coughs> now, I personally relate a lot to Alan Wake. Oh, myself. I see. Uh, I see what he did there. Towns don't like it when I turn up either. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, are you ready for a great evening of awards? Are you ready? I'm so glad to be here. Congratulations to everyone. It's so good to see you. So please. Sit back, relax, and let us celebrate the hard work and endless creativity of an industry that makes magic every day. And what an amazing person we have to kick us off. He's the star of Sex Education and an avid esports player, Asa Butterfield. All right, debut game. Thank you, everyone. I am very, very excited to be here. As an actor, I know how important it is to make a strong first impression. Well, good luck punctified on that Boeing flight out to Summer Game Fest. <laughs> talented people into our industry for the first time and immediately shake things up. And all of these exceptionally creative teams have certainly done that. The nominees for debut game are... Debut game. It's been a while since someone's wandered around this place. I think the thing about these awards, I'm always reminded of all the games I have yet to play or would like to play. Yeah, exactly. Dave the Diver. I was going through the nominees list, and it just reminded me how many games I still need to play. The back, the backlog is real. Like all of these. I need to play all of these. Sure, add it to the pile. Ugh, loved Cocoon. Venba. Ah, Venba. Also excellent. It did just like make me want to eat though. They are the chorus. <laughs> Stray Gods, the role playing musical. I feel like this is a very Steimer ass Steimer game. Yes, agree. I can prove myself. Yes, Dredge. Uh, Brittany, did you see that they're doing a live action movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, I'm very, very, very excited about that. And the BAFTA goes to Venba. Hooray, congrats. Yay. Also, what a cool suit. Oh, wow, yeah. I love it. Love it. Thank 
Thank you. This is pretty wild. Uh, I also have some words from our designer, Abi, who could not be here today. So I'm just going to read that from this piece of paper that I wrote down this afternoon. <laughs> We're very pleased to win the award for debut game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, BAFTAs, for giving us this platform. I would like to use it to call for a complete ceasefire and end the horrific genocide that's still happening. <laughs> Making Games is a group effort, and mm -hmm. I wanted to thank my team, my brother, my parents, Papa Agenda, Laundry Bear, Victoria, Eka, and Yeah, Ontario. Papa Agenda. Oh, I didn't know they were Papa Agenda. Uh, yeah, I was really awesome. happy to be able to show off the culture and cuisine that's very important to me. I would love nothing more than to see more such culturally rooted and local stories, and I think that Benba resonating with so many of you love is it. a sign that there is a very strong space for games like that to exist. Thank you. Yes. Yay. Congrats. All right. One award down. That's a really, that's such a good suit. It's a very good suit. Sound. sound has always been an integral part of gaming. Apart from the golden era of silent gaming in the <laughs> 1920s, of course, <laughs> Who could forget Charlie Chaplin's Pro Skater 2? <laughs> but today, sound is a vital element of every game. There is an this ad break incoming, everybody. Peak of audio You've been warned. So I only have so many snoozes that I gotta use them strategically. Please welcome comedian <laughs> and journalist Ellie Gibson. Ooh. Mm. Love that too. Listen, I love a sparkle suit moment. Friends, gamers, lend me your ears as we delve deep into the award for audio achievement. What and what voice. a year it's been for lovers of audio. From the swishing of webs in Spider-Man 2 to the high tempo rock riffs of Hi-Fi Rush, our headphones have been treated to some truly glorious sound breaks. I could listen to her read the anything. For audio Dude, achievement right? are audio achievement. Mark Cerny that also has a super smooth voice. Call of Duty, Modern very Warfare soothing. 3. Yes, he does. He has a very soothing voice. The odds are against us. And they will always be Oh yes, the sound in the Jedi, Jedi Survivor, Survivor was excellent. I think sound is one of those things that we all take for granted. 100%. You realize Spider-Man 2. Gosh, that game was just so, so excellent. Also, this one. All of these games are amazing. Yeah. Okay, let's go. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Definitely behind in Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, yeah. Still proud that I finished Breath of the Wild before you did, but I don't know if that's going to happen this time. Oh, no. I don't even... Conversation for another time, but Jason beat it, and I watched him. The sound in this game, like, oh. next level. Next level scary. I know, sorry about the ad break, everybody, but good news, they haven't announced and the winner yet. Goes to Just in time. Alan Wake 2. Ah, Yay! congrats. For Herald of Darkness alone. I know, right? Is, uh, is your son still obsessed? He is, but right now his new uh, favorite video game song is the Pokemon theme song from the original show. Oh, that must warm your heart. It does. But, you know, I, I don't like listening to it over and over and over and over. No, fair. Anything that you love, your child's yeah. monotony of repetition will definitely destroy. Yeah. Let me get my piece of paper ready. 
This is such an honor. Thank you, BAFTA. This is such an honor. Thirsty Panda, you have an so unwrapped your copy like of Zelda? Uh, is that what you're saying? Amazing audio team. That would be Tazio, Gulli, Thomas, Josh. Termite, I'm on that YouTube premium to life too, let me tell you. Never looked back. They yeah. raised the price and I was and angry about it, but I accepted it. But you absolutely will pay it. Yes. And Red Pipe. Thank you so much. Mm. <laughs> All right, well, we're, 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 we're rolling now. Now, modern gaming thrives on multiplayer. Gone are the days when I would have to invite all my friends around for a Minesweeper LAN party. <laughs> well, I say all my friends. It was my maths teacher, Mr. Pritchard. But boy, could that man click a small square. <laughs> These next titles... Oh my gosh, my sister was like a savant at Minesweeper. These next I would sometimes walk by her screen, it was just like, to present like the she was seeing the Matrix. Player, please welcome a brilliant actor yes, and same. voiceover artist who in the last few years has done the unthinkable, made a character called Clive Ooh. cool. It's ah, nice. This guy. He is just the best, the absolute also, this outfit. Oh. Thank you. What a stud. If there is one universally acknowledged truth in the games industry, it's that any single player narrative masterpiece can be exponentially improved with a last minute tacked on <laughs> multiplayer element. <laughs> <laughs> Mass Effect 3, I'm looking at you, my sweet, beautiful, <coughs> idiotic summer child. Oh my God. And Love while it. I may or may not be joking, I'm almost certainly limiting my future employment prospects in the AAA gaming space. So, with my career in tatters, I'd like to reveal my own surprise mechanics and guide your collective gaze to this year's nominees. Who managed to make multiplayer experiences and somehow not <laughs> balls them up? In fact, they managed to not balls them up so much that they're all rather fantastic and they managed to not balls them up so much that they've all been nominated for an actual award like a good one <laughs> like like a heavy one so there nice here are the nominees for best multiplayer <laughs> he's so good then star for president wait Absolutely. he can't he can't be president Forza Motorsports. I need to take a class of how to be good at racing games. And I don't know, maybe maybe you know. So you don't play you drive? Five. It's the worst. Uh, in video games, I'm the worst, Maria. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes. I wouldn't say you're the worst, but to be video good at a game like Forza just requires like a lot of practice. Super Mario oh, Brothers. I failed those missions so many times. The oh, they're all saying Super Mario. Mario and Bale Burger Skate. Yeah, Doc, maybe you and I can do it. Do the class. How not to suck at video game driving. A termite says he'll teach you how to race. It involves oh, a lot of bourbon. Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> that sounds like a weird combination, but like I'm kind of down. Oh, yes, Punctified. Maria is secretly in the background of the studio. Helping me run stuff under the hood. <laughs> What's up, CJ? Welcome. I'm just being reminded again of how insane last year was. Yes. Party animals. This is a game we have spent an egregiously little amount of time with, Brittany. You and I must get our party on. Yeah. I called Dits on the Otter. You can have him. He's very cute. But I think I might go alligator. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to. Does it though? Does it? Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Oh, congrats. Unexpected, to be honest. I thought I thought that, that was a Baldur's Gate win. Yeah. Interesting. For Very multiplayer? Interesting. For multiplayer, yeah. I'm Nelson Calvino, marketing director for ah. Nintendo UK. Very happy to be uh, receiving this award on behalf 
of the development team that unfortunately can't be here, but he's very proud. It might have something um, to do with, about which I don't know, I know a lot of people don't play the multiplayer the in Baldur's Gate. That are going to yeah, and it was Maybe difficult. It uh, and it I think goes it was a little underappreciated to too. Wish was for Marion has also been very Super transparent when they say that you know we know not everybody uses this. Whether the vast, solo, vast majority of our player base does online, not use multiplayer, but it's important to them to include it. To Obviously, it's the same in on local D &D stuff, can but work together uh, with your family or friends. Yeah. Well, I just think like where's Diablo, right? Because Diablo's multiplayer was very good. Like, say what you will about like their their balancing, but like their multiplayer, where players around the like tech, help each other. Very nice. Free from worries yes. about skill level and entry barriers. We are very honored to receive the multiplayer award. Thank you very much, Wait, Buster. Oh, he, Fire. Doug Bowser did say he was confused about being nominated for multiplayer. I mean, that's not a that's not an unrealistic thing to be confused for because their multiplayer no. is good and sound, but it's like very basic. BAFTA Breakthrough I think there's also a lot that goes into a platformer making it multiplayer in a way that feels good. You know, there's Britain's a lot of little things I think need to be taken for granted industry. that if not correctly Throughout implemented, it can be an absolute we'll be nightmare. Some of these so, like, I think they definitely deserve their flowers for that because it was a very smooth multiplayer experience, especially when you're playing, you know, same with screen. But, and giving a sneak peek uh, yeah, at the yeah, forthcoming games. Cool. And to kick things off with our first BAFTA alumni story, let's take a look at the charming world of the Tales of Kinzera Oh, wonderful. Yay. If you guys missed my GDC episode, I got the chance to talk to Abba Bakar Salim, the head of certain studios who story Hello, this is built around. Is this Salim. guy. I am the CEO and founder of uh, certain studios and the uh, creative director of Tales of Kinzera Zao, our debut game. I'm also a backer. Mm, Doc, I'm thinking it's time for a poll. For my work Put up a poll for funsies. She's Since the nomination, you know, I've, I've been really fortunate. Oh, have I just been missing them? Listen, you're just so committed to the gig, and you're doing such a great uh, job. Oh, thank you. I do have like connect me with a other like very embarrassing amount of tabs and windows open I right am, now, I'm trying to like manage this it's all at the same my, time. My ADHDs are so many. I'm like, oh my god! Can you guys help but we're doing it. Also, I just got a Sutter a Home pink moscato. Oh, a pink moscato! Look at you! That is such a Britney wine. But are you drinking it warm? Yeah. Is that not right? That I felt no, you have to drink it on ice. And I think I've been trying to really find an honest yeah. and truthful way of... It's like drinking a warm Coca-Cola. Like, you can do it and it tastes so okay, it but like a cold Coca-Cola? Oh, excellent. Warm Sutter's home is going to put hair on your chest, <laughs> Beautiful. I, I fucking yeah. do it. Yeah. Uh, I love that. I really do uh, for anyone who did it here, Maria Wait, say that Maria. warm Sutter's home is going to put hair on your chest. That's an accurate statement. I'll drink it all, Maria, only if you promise to brew me next time I see you. Brew my chest hair. Oh, she's silent. We all have to evolve and adapt with the times. For example, um, Natalia, younger, there's probably the not a chance for a Dragon's Age though. teaser because that's not really what the BAFTAs are about. They're not like finally, the Game Awards and they do like world premieres and things like that. Celebrates those teams oh, that have consistently <laughs> improved and expanded their titles. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love them. Excellent is poll. How do well, you drink to present the award wine. for evolving games? <laughs> yes. Please welcome Twitch Ambassador well, Cyborg Angel. I, I know you didn't put pre-chilled. Normally, I wouldn't say drink it on ice. I'd say drink it chilled. But like, if you if it's the difference between putting it over ice and drinking at room temp, ice for sure. Ooh, look at these outfits! Ooh. Oh hey, sparkles! It takes a huge effort yeah, to make a successful game, but to reinvent a game year after Oh, they're year, both doing the choker and the pendant necklace the combo. Came out. Beautiful. It's truly a I think I had that exact choker that the girl in the black dress is wearing when I was. 14. Fantastic. Hopefully you is saved it because it's the all the coming back. I definitely didn't save it because it was like cheap plastic that you like squeezed over your head. And Perfect. And it always, like, Ideal. Yeah. yeah. It was like a giant scrunchie but plastic. Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> I know I've said it. I'll say it again. I need to replay Cyberpunk. Yeah, you do. Yep. Yeah, you do. Yeah, Because sure it was do. really good. Sure do. Also, I maybe controversial, it. awesome on Steam yep. Deck. Incredible really? on Steam Deck. I don't event. think that's controversial. Okay. I think that's a really good tip. Well, if you go to the Steam Deck subreddit, they would. Uh, but 
I'm not a graphics person. No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky, still in the conversation. Hanging in there. Forza Horizon 5. Fortnite. Fortnite continues to do some really cool stuff. Yep. Why they're always Genshin in that Impact. combo, baby. And this game the has, legs. Has, has had the legs I never would have imagined. Well, it's pretty fun. Are you currently playing Genshin? Uh, no, so I started playing and then like dipped maybe like $200 into the spins and was like, Whoa! this is not this is not sustainable Shut for up. me or anyone. Yeah. It is a dickhead. It's sick. It's evolving. It's Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, I was Incredible. like, what's happening here? She's doing a bit? No, I think she has Tourette's. Oh, I thought it was like a comment on like the fact that cyberpunk is very like risque. And it is risque. So no, I need to go back and play it ever since all of the, the updates and stuff that they did to it. Really yeah, it's great. Again, like add it, add it to the list, Maria, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I will tell you the driving I'm missions so are not fun, actually, but that's a personal preference. See, the driving, was, Doc and I need to take that class. <laughs> To be frank. Yeah, I definitely need to get rid of the but memory I have I in the many my screenshots team. of my and character just walking around with her nipples just fully through her clothing but because the, the game was so broken at lunch. Oh, yeah. Be going yeah. From Sorry, I forgot you had that problem. problem. I just, I just got like, the, I drew I the know. short straw, yeah, man. Really? Or just free the nipple? Well, I mean, free the nipple if that was like the choice I was making. Turns out I that wasn't the choice I was <laughs> making. I wanted to wear the cool like shirt that I had. And instead yep. it was like my nipples were just poking through the shirt because I was clipping through the Maybe it was just really cold in here. The, yeah, you know, it must be super cold if the skin of your nipples breaks through the cotton of your t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the heart of any good game is its design. A well designed game. Oh, elders, thank you for letting me know. I didn't know. The controller to the moment you realize three days have gone That's good to know. And you really I'm not mad about it. To present the award for game design, please welcome outside Xbox and Oxventure's very own Jane Douglas. Yeah, JG Sauce, I feel like there is a free the nipple movement happening, but there are also like, Designing you know, like successful game pasties and patches form. and stuff. Cute ones these days that you can get. And the ability to surprise and delight the audience at home. A well-designed game can rip you from your sofa and transform oh my gosh, these earrings. world. And the titles so in this category exemplify that. The nominees for game design mm -hmm. are... This is always a fun category. Yes. Game design. Dave the Diver. I do love this game. These types of games. I was just going to say, Maria, I need to play it, but I know I get very addicted to it. It's the definitely Legend one of those Zelda games where you sit down and you look at the clock and it's suddenly 1 a.m. and you're like, wait a minute. What Probably happened? I'm a treadmill game then. Because then I would forget that I'm actually exercising. <laughs> The train will take us to a place where science and art meet nature. Hmm. Viewfinder. Dredge. Yeah, dredge. I love dredge. I don't need to play it. That's one I got to get on my Steam Deck. Doc was telling me how good it was. Very good. If it gets too spooky, you can turn off the spooky stuff. Oh, I love that. Or the intensity, the intensity if, if it's like, oh, I want to enjoy this, but I don't want to worry about, like, dying. Yeah. I appreciate settings like that for weenies like oh, myself. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Doc, are you excited about the, the live community? The dredge one. 
That's right. Baby has baby mode for life. Yep. And I'm still in the process of rolling out the Supercast merch credit. So thank you, everybody, if you're like, where's my merch credit? It's coming. Dave but we do have a new shirt in our store that says I'm in my easy mode era. I feel like I needed that when I was, like, in my college age. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take a shot. Hello, uh, this is crazy. Uh, I really didn't Hello expect Graham it. Of uh, Legend. We were nominated in multiple. Welcome. Oh, yeah, what's good? Uh, Always good so to see I just you. Came here to cheer uh, you haven't winners. missed too many awards. So I'd say, like, what, four or five awards? Yeah, you've missed some silly jokes. And Ben Thank Starr's you so much for uh, giving what do you this call award? it? The thing he Give said before he presented the award was really good, really funny. Zelda. <laughs> oh, he had a zinger about multiplayer and, uh, being tacked onto games. Everyone knows last year was one of the biggest uh, year in gaming history. So I was just happy to stand next to this. Yeah, you did. You missed Ben Starr. Sorry, you got to so watch it back on um, on the clips. But it's really good. Really back worth to it. Korea. Um, also, I am drinking room temperature Sutter Pink Moscato wine, and Andrea's not thrilled about it. I just, I want you to have joyful so experiences and, contest, and like, not, uh, like, scrunched up. Austin this is uh, something I'm so forcing on myself experiences. But we, uh, I'm, uh, I'm also disturbed by the uh, lukewarm wine, <laughs> I gotta really? say. Is it, like, one of those things that means I'm a murderer deep down if I drink room temperature wine? No. Thank you everyone for making If you enjoy it, but <laughs> I don't think you enjoy <laughs> it, do you? Does anyone enjoy drinking alcohol? Really? Do they really enjoy it? Yes, I do. All the time. You know, indie game you know it's like, Thank oh. You. you do too. Don't you enjoy the taste of Maker's Mark now? Me? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mind it. I don't mind it. But if someone's like, yo, do you want, like, a yummy, like, watermelon juice? Or do you want fucking whiskey? Which one tastes better? It's obviously, like, the watermelon juice. You know what yes. I mean? Britain has given the world so <laughs> many sensational things. You're not wrong. Football, Harry Styles, the correct pronunciation of aluminium, <laughs> the phrase you walk, and our gaming industry is no different. This little part of the world we like to call home has created some of the most exciting and innovative games of all time. And this next award What's good, PS Witch? Welcome. Good to see you. 12 months. To present the award for British Game, please welcome some homegrown talent it's the studio head of Rare, Craig Duncan. Oh, what's good, Craig? Another great suit. Oh yeah, the little gold, the little gold details is good very evening. nice. Yep. You always what appreciate the wide leg pants, games. you know? It's Every year, this country produces awe-inspiring titles and this year is a stellar example of the variety and creativity this country has to offer. Congratulations to everyone. Heads up to everybody on Twitch. Category. In we approximately 60 to 90 seconds, there's another ad break coming. The nominees for British games are. Feels a little like a lot. I tried to turn off as many as I could. <laughs> British game. This British game? Easy breezy. Cassette Beast. Yeah. Cassette Beast is a very fun, fun, fun little cute little game. I would recommend playing it, especially with someone. Fun co-op. Kind of like Pokemon mixed with Zelda E and stuff. There's millions of those things out there. Just waiting to sink their teeth into us. Dead Island 2. Another game I love. I love Dead Island 2. I had a great time with that yeah. game. Again, interior like the interior design. Yes, yes. 10 out of 10. Football Manager 2024. Oh, but also this game. So good. Yeah. Take a shot, everybody. Take a John, shot. John Drake special. <laughs> Viewfinder. Maybe I should play Viewfinder. I'm becoming influenced. I am too, yeah. Seeing you walk around this place brings back memories. Warhammer Age of Sigmar Realms of Ruin. 
All right, ad break started in five seconds. Uh, yes, I can, Shining Kite. Let's see. And the Where do I Not here. To viewfinder. I know where I need to go. Okay, I've boosted the stream audio, but if I've boosted it too much, you guys let me know. Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you so much to everyone who made this game happen. Fewer things in life make me as happy as when you can see the development team being so ecstatic us. and like we're genuinely excited. We're very, very proud excited. of this. We're very, very honored. Agreed. That's why with that Unravel um, other people into debut at EA's so we break press that conference rule, 10 years ago, I'll never forget one that. Person who can speak, so. yes. Little Yarny. Aw, Yarny. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She looks like also a princess. Look How fun. Look at that. Also, I want to thank Matt's parents. It's like Belle's dress. Yes, yes. yes. So thank you, Matt's parents. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Matt's parents? I hope they give snacks because I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, does anybody have some biscuits in your in your purse? I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Thank you, Halum, for bringing this everybody together. <laughs> I want to thank you. Good for you, girl. You did a thing. You did a cool thing. Uh, we want we want to thank Sony for supporting. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're so honored to be here. Let's go now. I love it so much. Yeah, that's so that's so heartwarming. That's the genuine stuff we want to see. Yeah. I love it. Um, I have to say, as somebody who's been on stage many times, and it's like my livelihood. There's still moments where I like just get overwhelmed. Time for I have like BAFTA alumni nothing story. to say and I ha have Mary that exact Child, feeling. So I feel you, girl. On Game Beyond Entertainment in 2019 for its immersive, story-driven game in which you help the child of an enemy in a post-war society. Let's hear from Aileen and Katerina about their experience and what we can expect from My Child New Beginnings. Hi, I'm Aileen Pesto. Oh, what's good, Sonia? What? Welcome. Level. Glad you could catch the stream I'm too. Berlet, lead game designer. In 2019, we got to win this wonderful BAFTA for Game Beyond Entertainment. And it's a gift that keeps on giving. It has given attention to our game, but also to the story. I'm of the with you, Natalia. That I definitely want to see the TGAs give devs war, more time for speeches. Struggling but clearly, that's a very different show with a very different focus. Whereas this is very much all about us, the awards. Letting us meet interesting people, networking. We could just talk openly, right, about the things that they've been doing, the things that they've learned, and I think that's one of the things I love about the game industry: the sharing and the care. We are working on a follow-up called My Child New Beginnings. The player is now given more agency to shape the future of the child. You play as a parent of a traumatized child and need to be able to recognize wow. the trauma and help the child cope with this. We work. Oh with no, but that's my life right now. This time, <laughs> and hope that this game will give. I mean, I hope my child my child isn't traumatized. Practice, trauma treatment to players, and for the players that are wondering. Uh, I've promised we will be able to deliver the game uh, 2025. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's like, are we promising it's that? It's going to be great, and we hope to be able to show you Can we not promise that? About the game in the wow. Moment.
The artistic achievement present in modern gaming is mind-boggling. Whether it's a sharply rendered blood splatter when your character dies, a realistic look of horror from an ally when your character dies, <laughs> or an incredibly beautiful game over title card when your character dies. <laughs> Basically, I suck at gaming, everyone. To present the award for artistic achievement, please welcome an actor who's appeared in everything from Star Wars to Penny Dreadfuls to Black Panther. Say hello to Danny Sapani. I believe that punctified. This industry is all about pushing boundaries. And with every new breakthrough in technology or skill, our games are getting more and more visually remarkable. And this award honors those genius creatives who are at the forefront of stretching the limits of what we all think is possible in gaming. The nominees for artistic yeah, achievement are, are... Yeah, I think like the artistic universal note is, man, this is heavy. Baldur's Gate 3. Just so cool what they did with the art in this game and the way that it like seamlessly went together. Just snappy. Diablo 4. Yeah, we really talked about it. Yeah, also like Blizzard just always coming with like the most over the top cinematics. It's just like awe inspiring. Killer the left a message. Alan Wake 2. It's for us. In I'm telling you, we sing Going Down in History is one of the greatest There's levels ever created in video games. I'm forgetting. Revenge is a mm. weapon. Final Fantasy 16. Best hair in the biz. I uh, was making some progress through um, Rebirth because Alexa Ray has committed to doing the spoiler much. cast with us. Yes, she has. She's like, have you finished it yet? I was like, listen, I have a small child. I'm working on it. I just keep getting distracted by playing Queen's Blood, which I showed Maria. She's like, what's Queen's Blood? And I was like, oh, oh. let oh. me talk to you about Queen's yes. Blood. I was going to say you said made progress, and I watched you play Queen's Blood for like two hours. Okay, you don't have to call me out, <laughs> okay? But that is too. progress. That is progress. It was a quest about Queen's Alan Blood. Alan Wake 2. Yeah, there you go. Oh, good for yeah. them. That's such a hard category, artistic. Yeah, it is. Isn't it fantastic, Yogi? It's just brilliant. Mm. I just want I just want the mobile game for Queen's Blood. Just give it to you me. You know they have to be making it. They have to be. You know, I mean, I don't think so though. I don't know that I, I don't feel like that's like Square Enix's bag to do that kind of like like one-off companion stuff. I don't but man, they're just leaving well, money on the table. I know they are. I know. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Thank you, buff stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a huge, if somewhat lonely honor to accept this award Let's see. on behalf of a, of a huge Yeah, huge the director of Re Rebirth said that expansions are uh, possible I'd because like to of thank the strong positive Sam feedback. Lake, Kyle but that Rowley doesn't mean like a mobile game, but my mm. God. Incredible, wonderful creative mm -hmm, partnership mm -hmm. that we had in this project. Uh, Grand of Legends, Cyber is to be fantastic. And then actually fantastic. next to them, also She's our executive producer, life. Jonas Damminen, for being sometimes stern, always a compassionate. Aww. Stewardship of that project. That's a really lovely thing to say. Uh, An executive producer but, has uh, to be stern. It's part of, of the job. The, the biggest thanks, thanks of all to the to our team. Um, I got the pleasure to, to work with. I need to make sure that I mention. I can't unfortunately mention all mm. the names, but I'm... Um, Trying to mention a few uh, key contributors and leads leads that were part of the part of the team. So um, thank you, John Frostland, Johannes Richter, uh, Ron Frölich, Juhani Jokinen, Riho Kroll, Antti Puomio, Damien Stempniewski, and Nazareno Urbano. It's a nope. To, I've to definitely with. muck it up. Guaranteed. Yep. And, uh, I'd have to make a bit about it and be like, to, I'm gonna mispronounce these names. Uh, yep, that's absolutely it. And 
cinematographer I do I do like that the captions are like we're not even gonna attempt these everybody yeah, we're just gonna go right on through also features a lot of live action and how to integrate it all together oh my gosh uh, I am curious may I won a Queen's blood match 55 to zero and I thought I don't even care if I finish the game I've won and, and finally, that's incredible uh, I think my record like so far is like 36 uh, to zero or 37 to zero so huge thank you also to Ow. our <coughs> <coughs> excuse me but I do wonder uh, if I'm actually just good at Queen's blood without what do you I mean I think if like you put if you like put hit me against like a real person I don't know because I use that feature a lot what I love about it in the game is you can stop and you can start the match over anytime you want you get a better hand and that really helps but <sighs> Creating a brand new IP from scratch is no easy task. It's not. As the inventor of Phil Wang's cat also monster, everybody I hydrate. know that better than anyone. <laughs> and have the claw marks oh. to prove it. This next award celebrates those development teams who have taken an idea also, from its humble beginnings. And shout out to Nintendo it. for giving me the of one of the best pieces of swag enjoy. I've ever got. Uh, and a quick side oh, note, if anyone wants to buy 3000 They're like, hey, we heard you guys like uh, Stanley's here in the United States. To present would you like a Stanley? And I was like, yes, yes, I would. Thank you. Please There's like a whole culture around the now officially and I guess I just don't most get it. iconic it's, game it's a character for your of all water. time. Yes, like, why, it's why the does original it Lara like, Croft. Does it, like, it doesn't. Because it fits in your car couple. But there's a, there's a really funny sketch on Instagram from the Dude Dad, I think it is. Uh -huh. I'll send it to you. But it's like, it fits in the cup holder and it has a so handle much. and a straw. Thank you so much. You Good think evening. that those are basic things, ago, but and it's dishwasher safe. Tomb Raider game yeah. and the iconic hey man, you know what? I'm just happy Lara people, Croft. people are drinking water. I'm thrilled yeah. to be part of gaming history and honored that BAFTA have invited me here tonight. Um, can we talk about her shirt? I know all yes, too well I was just how say. exciting Damn. it is. Bling bling, love it. Brand new and to watch it grow and become bigger than you could possibly imagine. And the nominees in this next that award that have all managed to create <laughs> engaging, unique, <laughs> and highly entertaining IP that has the potential to stay with us for decades to come. The nominees for new intellectual property are... New intellectual property. Ooh, I think a fun poll for this one would be which of these new IPs Will we see again? Oh, which one's definitely getting a sequel? Yeah. Oh, this is incredible. Beautiful. Meanwhile, our yeah, current so poll up for everybody who is on Twitch: What game should win for best narrative? So if you haven't voted, you have thoughts. Get your votes in. Perfect answer. I'll never be over Rich. Brit's monster cast of baby water. He takes. I know. Here's the thing, though, if I'm so lazy that I only want to fill this thing up once a day, and then it's like 120 ounces. It's it's just so big. Chance yeah, of I'm like, guess what? I'm hydrated. I'm always hydrated. Uh, Hostu, that's a very valid piece of anxiety about that laundry, but High five rush. always just say, turn inside out. Step number one. Always cold water. Step number two. And then air dry. You should be golden. Dave the Diver. Do you chop that thing? Does it sound like your house is blasted? Yes. Yes, it does. Here's the thing. Is my kid like drinking out of it, too. I'll, I'll get him his own cup of water. Not good enough. He has to drink out of mine. And the BAFTA goes to... Say it. Viewfinder! I was like, come on, they didn't give you a blank envelope, but that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. And this is your viewfinder. Oh no, this poor girl's gonna be like, I can't do this again. Oh, oh no, she already <laughs> She's like, I'm still hungry. Who's got hungry chips in their bag? Spelt wrong, you know I always got the weird housekeeping tips. But you are doing me a great kindness by calling me Marie Kondo that I do not deserve. <laughs> we, we had zero speeches planned, not two. Look, <laughs> we broke a rule this 
because there's only one person to talk. Uh, yeah, oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, you uh, thank talk. you again. It, it is such an honor, and also it's been such an oh, honor. Oh, I bet you they got backstage and somebody was like, hey, if you guys want another one, just, um, you know, you just so one much. person. We want to make more viewfinder, but please give us money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do that. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. I guess I'm buying Viewfinder. No kidding. Part of what makes games so magical are their stories. Tetris. Football manager. Candy Crush. All titles that gripped me and kept me wondering, well, what happens next? I'm currently halfway through the original Snake on the Nokia 3210. No spoilers, please. We are blessed by the sheer number of talented storytellers in this industry, with the ability to enthrall and charm you from the moment you press new game. To present the award for narrative, please welcome GameSpot's Tamor Hussein. Ah, Tamor. Storytelling in gaming is unlike any other medium. The immersive nature of games means that the narrative doesn't just happen to you. Instead, you shape it, and you are part of it. With a truly brilliant title, like the games in this category, you feel the emotional beats, live the plot twists, and understand the character moments in a way that makes it impossible to put the controller down, and more importantly, leaves a lasting impact. The nominees for narrative are Narrative. Star Wars Jedi Survivor. That Jedi. Remind our friend here why this guy was supposed to be dead. Uh, Natalia, it's tough because almost every category is an Alan Wake 2 category, so I feel you there. So much of this is also like subjective. I mean, there's a couple like objective parts about it that, you know, I think come into those conversations, but it's like what game resonated with which voting member and. Right. It's something only I can do. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Do not go away. You will miss a king's revival and the birth of his new world. I literally just googled Tomb Raider t-shirt blinged out. Yeah. Did it work? Nope. Didn't work. <laughs> There's a bunch of Tomb Raider t-shirts, none of them bedazzled. I wonder if it's a custom job if she did it herself. And the BAFTA goes to Baldur's Gate 3. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I think this is their first win. I searched bedazzled, also nothing. I bet you it's a I bet you it's a custom. It was really nice. That's not oh, that hard to friends. do, it's just time consuming. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> um, it is heavy, like they said. Um, it's a real honor and a privilege to be able to stand up here and represent Galarian writing and narrative teams and the entire team as a whole. Um, so much goes into creating the kind of stories we try to do. Her whole the fit the is excellent. Um, the classic silhouettes of that red dress, the matching um, red mani. Like 
Thank the simple you. gold Years bangle with no other um, like ornate jewelry, just like a simple gold real. little so much creativity went into stud there with like the hair and the braid and the like little. And, she um, crushed this look. Yeah, the silhouette of the dress is really The only nice. thing that would ruin it is if she picked a weird shoe. Experiencing the stories that we wanted to tell. <laughs> Let's hope that that's not the case. And are still creating <laughs> otherwise, flawless. That world and sharing them with us. And it's I'm really so amazing. glad Baldur's Gate Thank won this award, especially all the work that they did to make mm -hmm. sure that the narrative flowed for all the narrative choices you could make in that game. Yeah. I bet they had this huge, like, board, right? All these little connecting strings. Stuff. Hello, ruler. Ah, oh, Ruler, what's good, man? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Work an organization ruler, what are you measuring? Has on the industry ruler, around like are you, okay, are you a ruler, like a measuring stick, or are you just like rolling over some, like, special award weak ass is an industry legend. What are you doing? Uh, CJ, you did hear another voice in the background. No, sorry to cut off Britney's question. Of uh, that is Maria. It's Sir Ian Livingstone. God, you look all so young. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. It's so called moisturizer, fun, Ian. Entertaining. Games are and empowering. Botox. And, Games Botox. and yeah, you know, and a little bit of other help. Maybe a red light mask. The special award is presented Listen, to spell wrong. She's not in the dark corner because I'm <laughs> forcing her to be there. <laughs> okay? I asked her if she wanted us to sit at the desk and be on camera, and she preferred to be off camera. And I said, that's fine. Yeah, Britt, it's not a wash day for my hair, so we are in the shadows. Yeah. I could have given you a what's good hat. I thought you were going to say a wash. I was like, wow, that's a great offer. Yes, yes, felt wrong. That's, it's, it's a mood. It's mood. If you do want to wash my hair later, I will accept. And I still scout their massage. innovative use of video. Oh, <laughs> sounds lovely. <laughs> um, sorry, everyone on Twitch, there's another ad break incoming. And quality of life to I have two snoozes left. You guys let me know. From the joy I'm trying to use them games. strategically. If you ever wanted a good news story about the games. Ooh, industry, Natalia, how's the dark urge play through? People, or about technology, <sighs> changing lives for the better. I'm going to start a new playthrough with Jason. I think I'm going to do Andrew. You're not prepared for this. What class I'm going to pick. No further than special effects. In my next Baldur's Gate playthrough. Let's hear from some it's remarkable people. I'm going to do a bard. Who benefited from special Unexpected. effects. Unexpected. I, I love this you know for why? you. I have this pipe dream in my head of singing and distracting people while Jason pickpockets everybody. Hilarious. I did hear with dirge with a, with a bard I'm is very, very things. fun. I don't want to sound like a gameaholic, but... It was one of the only things I could do for enjoyment. Oh, special, special effects effect doing wonderful work. Obviously, we are doing lots of work and like are affiliated and aligned with our friends at Able Gamers, <laughs> but, you know, both <laughs> groups doing fantastic stuff on different parts of the world. A charity that can help us to continue to bear a few Yeah, just by touching that. This with a amazing journey ever since. Go away, you bad guy. Once Debbie got the equipment, that was her off. Brit, have Everyone you talked about playing gamer. Baldur's Gate on Steam Deck? I got a Steam Deck specifically for Baldur's Gate 3. I um, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, work, it works good. I mean, I prefer it if I'm, like, on the road and I want to take my game with me. Uh, oh, yeah, I'd break right when I asked the question. It has been a fortune to um, have yes. the ongoing support yes. from everyone at Special I Effects my because of I've grown up. They've helped me by adapting how I game. No matter what MNG throws at me, my guys is special oh, effects. Yeah, let me... I've come up with solutions to allow me <sighs> to still play home. Now we've been doing some really amazing work with IFA controller. Ooh, who is the best BG3 husband and waifu? Twitch poll. I didn't think special effects would be able to help me, but they tried different angles, different positions. I feel like there's a, a it's going to be a really hard decision with this poll. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how who I'm going to pick. They can do this. It was like, oh. 
You've got a new toy. Mouse. Also, if anyone can hear that, Bing's and if it gets loud, let me know. But they are the cutting through the side of my house He's right having now. Having fun. I can't hear it. Oh, good. Oh, God bless okay. this sure like SM7B. Mm -hmm. I like everyone's picking different options for Carl X. I feel like I want the second game. option. Games are a way to escape whatever is I would never say that you've abused your mod privileges, Doc. New places in a fun no. way. It saved my life, honestly. In the world of gaming, anything is possible. Mm. It sure is. Don't let anyone ever say anything bad about games again. <laughs> games are a powerful good. So BAFTA, please put your hands together for Special Effects founder and CEO of Special Effects, mm. the amazing Dr. Mick Donegan. <laughs> and his son, Tom. Asleep at Keys. Rihanna gives very high level, like short brief thoughts on the Fallout series this week, but since it just came out and I haven't gotten to watch my screener copy yet, we're saving it, but I'm hoping to get friend of the show, Fallout expert, Emily Rose on to talk about it. What's up, Dracer? Welcome. Oh, blimey. Oh, so yes, Steve, I love this too. Yeah. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. My goodness me. Um, <laughs> whoa. Um, uh, uh, Tom, uh, my son and our CEO is here as a backup in case I tear up. It's highly likely that he'll be here within a few seconds. So, um, right, uh, I'll fire away. Thanks so much. That's ridiculous. Thanks ever so much, all of you. Uh, right. Uh, um, and thank you, Ian, for that lovely, uh, lovely introduction. Thank you. Right, firstly, I'd like to say a heartfelt thank you to BAFTA for selecting special effects to receive this prestigious award. I'd also like to congratulate my tireless, dedicated team for going the extra mile day after day. In fact, uh, they've stayed on at the office last night to celebrate uh, uh, and are watching this uh, and having a BAFTA party of their own with bow ties and everything. So. <laughs> If you please excuse me. Hi, team. Hi, oh, team. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> well, well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, they are a great team. A great team. Yeah, last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank all of those remarkable people in the games industry, many of whom are here tonight, who've supported, collaborated, and shared a few drinks with us over the years. I'll never be able to thank you enough for welcoming special effects both as colleagues and friends. Together, we're making a real difference to the I knew I'd have to do it. So Gotta make a quick bio people. break. I'll be right back. All <laughs> over the world by opening the door to the magical world of video games to them. There is so much more to do, but in partnership with yourselves, Aww. I'm sure that the best is yet to come. Thank you. Awards. <laughs> it goes through the wholesome moments that I just absolutely love. One of the most important parts of the gaming world is its supporting cast. Anyone who's experienced the vast worlds of San Andreas or Tamriel or Untitled Goose Game knows that these incredible places are only as good as the characters within them. Ooh. To present the award for performer in a supporting role, please welcome a brilliant actress and star of The Walking Dead, it's Eleanor Matsura. This is probably one of the hardest actors. Mm -hmm. 
Until Producing a game takes a whole family of people. Hold on. A wide I can't tell if she's there or not. Talented individuals. Oh, Ooh, me or Andrea? Yeah, you. I'm here. I couldn't tell. You just blend in. Like you got your, like, yeah, I'm just in the darkness. The massively yeah, talented I feel like my little rogue friend. Members <laughs> the, of this next category. <laughs> the nominees <laughs> for performer in a supporting <laughs> role are. You know, I'm just going to say it. Room temperature, Moscato is very good. Performer in a very good role. That Moscato? That is a very, very fast exaggeration. I will say it's it's good enough. That I'm Basically, not, that's like a juice box, it. an adult it's juice box, so like I can understand why it would taste. Yeah, it's pretty good. Well, now I know what to get you next time you're in town. Warm Moscato? I'm a simple girl, warm Moscato. I'm not going to make it warm. I'm going to make it cold, and you're gonna, your life will be changed forever. But I should have known that you'd that you'd be a Moscato girly. Oh yeah, I mean you you, you figured this out when we got mm -hmm. all those wines last time. In this alliance. So, I mean not last time, that was like we got like all the AC wine and the Lord of the Rings wine. Ralph Einson, S. Adolphus, Sid. Oh, oh yeah. welcome back, oh, Foshi. Yes, tasty adult beverage time. I would love to see Ralph Einson's wine. Sid's voice is just I mean his voice in general. Can I tell you guys a secret about Final Fantasy 16? I pre-ordered it specifically for the experience band and asked me if I've ever even turned it on. Tony Todd. Because the answer is no. <laughs> no. What are you gonna have, Koshi? <laughs> Andrew, I don't think I've talked to you about my recent venture into yes. book talk. <gasps> Uh, no. Okay. I'm reading all the smut. All of it. Be against <laughs> us. All the, the fantasy. Wilson yes! Wait, can I just pause for a second to be like, Deborah Wilson, like, she slayed this role. She was incredible. Okay, sorry. I definitely want to talk about books. Like, let's, af after this, after this award. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have to say, Raphael, also great. Did bang him. Yes. Did make my girlfriend well, mad at me. <laughs> oh, you did bang him, huh? Did. Did. Smash. Smashed. Mad smash most people in that game. <laughs> and the BAFTA goes to Andrew Wincott. I can't tell if the look on his face is like genuine surprise <laughs> or like, I don't know. My, my, <laughs> what <laughs> manner of BAFTA is this? <laughs> it is a heavy one, it's true. Don't wake me up. Mm. This is, um, this is extraordinary. I've made a few notes. I don't know if they're in the right order. You'll have to bear with me. Um, I'll try and be as quick as I can. I mean, this is, it's just overwhelming. Uh, I mean, even to be nominated in the category with my fellow nominees and my fellow performers in this game is just humbling beyond belief. Um, I don't know how many years it is now since my first <laughs> session on this game. <clears throat> um, Wait, what? I hadn't done motion capture before, and I, I turned up to uh, Pit Stop, and they said, yeah, you put your, your kit in the, in the locker. I said, what? My kit in the locker? Yeah, you put this, this um, Velcro bodysuit on. Excuse me. Um, and I mean, we, we would, we'd done all the tests. We were all set to go. The uh, sound was working. The avatar was behaving. Uh, and a fire alarm went off. <laughs> and out of nowhere, I was suddenly, with everybody from Pit Stop, standing on Croydon High Street <laughs> in the drizzle of a Monday morning. So this is glamour. People were walking past going, oh, I've seen that, uh, that bodysuit in m and I must get one. <laughs> I went back to studio. We were fine. Uh, there was no fire. Only in the nine hells. 
But I have to thank everybody at Pit Stop, the technical wizards, the directors, the movement coaches, who gave me the freedom to find the irony, the charm, and the danger of Raphael, the devil we love to hate, or hate to love. For me, it was a gift. It was um, like returning to theater. Raphael is nothing if not theatrical. Don't bother me now, I'm an anti-hero from the 17th century. But every session was such fun at Pit Stop. Unbelievable, even when it was wrong, it was, went wrong, it was fun. And then, how much fun was the endless invention? There came the incubus harlot. Okay, do you want to hear about my book pop um, pictures now? Yes, I did appreciate him kind of talking what? about the experience of being a voice of actor instead of just, my knees. <clears throat> you know, talking about the studio and, then, and the great work. And, and obviously, like, those people song, deserve accolades. Raphael's but I think Larry, and by this point in the award Robin, season, is like, the creative <laughs> thank you. The yeah. We've gotten our flowers. Um, but it is nice to see other members of the team win, you know. Yeah. Oh, I, only, I only met Bobby last night for the first time. We'd collaborated. We spent an hour in a, in a session. We, uh, we recorded the song. He told me exactly Ooh, what to do. You want to hear a fun he fact said, that's going to uh, absolutely like sound like a brag? Like this. Yes. Breathe here. Okay. Uh, it, Jason no and I were the first no people less, the outside of right. Larian. And then he said, and Wizards of the right at the end of the session, they're going to watch the floor. We have to because really, come on. We what? Ran into spin. Move on. Yeah, we ran into Bobby spin. Said, okay. At one more time. the airport in Seattle. Now forget one time. everything or was I it, told you. Was it we ran into one at two we did it. Air, airports. I don't know how we've done it, but we did. Used. And he uh, let you, it slip Bobby. to us what thank he was working, what they were working on, who they were, who they um, were meeting up with. And then I had to keep that very secret. For, very, uh, very swiftly, I, I have. You held that. You held that secret good, girl. I did. Sven, thank you for this. As you do. That's my random story. All the creative geniuses at Larry and Adam for writing Raphael, for giving him this uh, appropriately Baroque turn of phrase. Jason, I do think it's a little funny and cinematic. ironic that he's Thank like, I'm gonna keep this short. This adventurous, yeah. uh, it's really been- Feels been a little bit like another voice actor's um, legendary to long speech. my amazingly supportive family, to my agent who has to put up with my increasingly demonic demand. No term, I did act and surprised finally, when it was announced because here's like what happened is that we found out about it like years and years and years and, and then I totally completely 100% forgot about it game and then it was the announced and, uh, and then I was like oh my god it's amazing art, and then when we writing. went to the Baldur's Gate 3 it's events in really humbling god, how that? That I just inspired went. Get, no. They've been by this, was it get? by this game. That I went. I was, just say. I don't I remember. It was somewhere in Europe creative. recently. Wasn't it Belgium? Keep Belgium. These no. Worlds, and maybe was it? One day no. We'll I thought you went to Belgium. The Did I go to Belgium? Belgium? Yes, it was Belgium. Thank Final you. Yes, it was reflection. Belgium. Um, <laughs> About 28 uh, years ago. We were talking with Sven and the, the PR folks, and then he, he told her, he's like, oh, these people were the first one that I told Shelley. about, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I remembered, the so that's why, because I completely London forgot. A lot of radio Otherwise, that would have been cool information voiced to have a game to. Called Broken but, Sword. You know, I have the memory of a fish, so. Yeah. The original Broken Sword. And I think it was the first game to use voice actors. I think it may have been released just fractionally before Lara Croft, but I'm not arguing. Um, but isn't it amazing that here we are, we're seeing these games celebrated tonight. Thank you, BAFTA, for celebrating them. The kind of detail, the sophistication, the storytelling. How exciting to think what games could be doing in another 28 years. But it's even, it's You're just great to be a part of this conversation and this community. Thank you, BAFTA, for this honor. Um, final words have really to go to Raphael, or almost Raphael's words. What's better than a BAFTA you don't Ooh. know? A BAFTA you do. Thank you. <laughs> ah, very nice. Uh, that went cool. We definitely have different definitions because I also didn't think that was a short speech by any means. Good speech, but not short. The great thing about gaming is that it can be a family affair. Uh, unless you only have one controller in the house, in which case gaming is a family bar brawl. But the titles in this next award showcase, the very best in family entertainment. To present the award for family, family please welcome two members of our BAFTA family, 
host of Young Game Designers, Inel Tomlinson, and Young Presenter winner, Braden Bent. Gone are the days when gaming was the hobby of just the teenage members of the family. Modern gaming is something that everyone can enjoy, from the youngest members of the clan who love Mario, to the elder states who the won't stop like going on about game. Hogwarts. <laughs> and the games in this next award have managed to appeal to both of these and everyone in between. The nominees for family are... Family. 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 Well, I mean, like, Super, Super Mario is winning this, right? I mean, it won multiplayer game. Cocoon. I don't know how this is a family game, to be quite honest. Can you work on the puzzles with someone? I mean, like, maybe? yeah, I guess, like, if people were sitting on the couch with you, you could do it. But, like, to me, family game means, like, inherently there's multiple ways for people to play together. Also, how is Hi-Fi Rush a family game? It must be, like, sitting on the couch watching and having a communal experience. Because Hi-Fi Rush is definitely not, like, a more than one person. Like, because, like, of the beat matching, you kind of have to, like, it has to be, like, one person doing it. Yeah, because I don't know how Dave the Diver is a family game either. This is, okay, I'm confused about what the family game, are they showing the wrong nominees? <laughs> this one, yeah. <laughs> this game makes sense for Disney Illusion Island. How is Hogwarts Legacy. Legacy a family game? <laughs> There's a so lot of dark stuff in that game. Family. I also forgot Hogwarts Legacy came out last year. The big moment. And the BAFTA goes to... Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yeah. As expected. I can hear John already. He makes open jokes to Doug Bowser about how Nintendo has an unfair entrenched position winning family game literally every time. He's like, can you I give us a break, you. man? We're uh, trying over here. <laughs> On behalf of the development team in Japan, um, I'm accepting these awards. Um, and yes, I hate this site. You kill awards. lots of people. The it was one of the biggest issues I had with the game. Uh, and I didn't personally play it. I watched John play through play most together. of it. Regardless um, of their skill level, so there can be a sense but of togetherness yeah, we'll when people are game. helping one another playing the game. <laughs> Even young players who uh, might be trying their I mean, first yeah, but I would be curious to know what the criteria um, was for, for that. Is it just something that's enjoyable to have someone sit next to you and like watch the narrative unfold, family or and like friends, what? Or enjoy being helped by other players around the world online. It's like we are honored like to receive this family award. Thank you very much. Next award is voted for by you, the public. Now, normally when you guys vote on things, it ends very badly. It's true. <laughs> He's not wrong. But thankfully, no, when it comes not. to games, you seem to know what you're talking about. To present the that was a I think that was a Brexit award, jab. Please welcome the queen of streaming, it's Yummy. Oh, it's a Ooh. special mask. It may sound obvious, oh. but the gaming industry relies on gamers. You are the heart of any successful game. And ultimately, one of the best metrics That's a very for any title that there hair is, hair it is, is feedback from its players, mm. which is why it's such an honor to present the next category. The nominees for the EE Player's Choice Award are... Free! Hello, friend! Oh, what's e. good, girl? You made it. Cyberpunk also, we got another ad break coming in. I'm going to try to snooze at this time since I know we're running out of time. Snoozed. For 
Fortnite. Bree, would you judge me if I was drinking Sutter's Pink Moscato for a temperature? Rihanna, she's drinking a mini Zelda, bottle of King wine King. that's just been sitting out on the counter. It's a pink Today Moscato. Just warm, like warm Moscato. Warm, warm. Because I drink my water warm. Oh Lord, how gross. Free, get out of here. Lethal company. <laughs> she says, oh Lord, how gross. I mean, you do you, boy. Boo. <laughs> oh, is it boy? boy? No, it says boy. She definitely meant boo. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> she called me boy. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Termite, my accent does come out. I always say it's the O's and the A's. Drinking some Moscato. Moscato. Marvel Spider Man 2. Uh, Darth Dominus, we only have a certain amount of snoozes available per stream, or maybe it's like per hour. I have to like look up what it what it is. But yeah, um, so the the creator who's streaming can like hit the snooze button, but it only snoozes it for five minutes, and then there's not much I can do about it. But when I say creator, I mean partner. I don't know if that's available for affiliates or not. Our partner anniversary is coming up in June. I thought you had a thing for that. You go first. David wasn't ready for this. Thank you very much. June 2020. <laughs> uh, I kind of was, but you... Oh. Uh, plans change, Here. as they do in game development. Um, so thank you, first of all. Uh, thanks for the people who voted for us. Uh, I was just thinking about how over a decade ago we started a Kickstarter campaign for Original Sin 1. Um, and we were basically trying to prove that this idea that we had to build a turn-based RPG was something that people really wanted to play, because uh, no one else would believe us. Uh, and I remember we were very uh, careful in saying like, okay, when are we gonna think that the campaign is successful? Let's take uh, maybe a hundred thousand dollars. Is that about too much? Maybe 200 or 150? Eventually we uh, we got over a million dollars, which proves that uh, what we wanted to make is something that players wanted. And again, you have told us that we're making what you guys want. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's a fun award to win. Another BAFTA alumni story now. Two of our 2021 Breakthrough cohort joined forces on the mystical Mithrect Ambrosia Island. Let's take a look. I'm Elle Osley Wood, and I was named a BAFTA Breakthrough in 2021 for my BBC documentary, Special Characters, which I presented and co-wrote. For me, being a BAFTA Breakthrough feels like a big arrow pointing in the right direction. I also love being in a big creative cohort of ambitious, inspiring people. But can That's you tell I me what you use to whiten your teeth? Because the they look I really nice. Yeah. Oh my God. I I'm, I'm not the only one that noticed. No, 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 you're not. Absolutely not. I, uh, I was like, but what is it? I want it. I was quite starstruck, but I hopefully it influenced. Too much already out of myself. <laughs> I messaged I'll buy her anything. afterwards a few weeks later to see if she'd be interested in taking on the role of Alex, the unlikely hero from, from Mythrex, our next indie game. And of course, I jumped at the chance to work with a studio like Polygon Treehouse. And to our delight, she said yes, and things went from there. So the BAFTA nominations gave us a great deal of confidence to take our next steps as a studio. They're a great calling card for our work and what we do. And allows us to keep on How's everybody doing best. in chat? Great. Thanks for hanging in. We've been streaming for a little over 90 minutes now. <laughs> going strong. I feel like we're coming we're coming probably towards the, the end of the show, I would guess. I think last year was about three hours. Wait, it was three hours? Your job is to figure out what's Well then we're not. Then we then we're halfway. Well, how many awards have we gone through? This is a great question. Let's do an award audit. Award audit. My character. She's so last year, the this is how I got that number, by the way. So like, the math ain't perfect. 
a YouTube VOD, BAFTA Awards 2023 full mm. ceremony was three hours and nine minutes. I wonder how much in the beginning is lead up, right? Right, 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 right. Okay, we're here, we're strapped in. We're gonna have a good time. Oh, they, they're updating the website live. Um, so we still have animation. animation has the ability oh, here we go, animation. Uh, we have Game Beyond Entertainment, For example, music, this, but I'm currently being performer in a leading role, Annoying because they've left and out technical achievement in the Please, best games. So we have five stage. awards. We're like, did they do like British game? It's yeah. Lucy oh. We're like halfway through. Lucy. My bad. Yeah, Lucy. She looks gorgeous. Ugh. Her new, her new haircut looking good. Oh my god, it's amazing. Animation brings worlds and characters to life. Every movement, from over-the-top sword swipes to minute facial expressions, have been painstakingly animated to look just right. This next category showcases some of the very best in the entire industry. The nominees for animation are... Mm. Animation. Wake says a story will change reality around us. Alan Wake 2. By Rush. Bring it on. Hogwarts Legacy. I mean, two. like, I can. how do they not win? How do they not win this? Like, what they did was just wild. Just wild. Star Wars Jedi but this game also looked really good, too. I mean, they could all win. I mean. Yes, yes, as we've been saying, you're correct. Okay. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Just the silliest, the just the silliest game. And the BAFTA goes to Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, congrats! That's fun. Definitely a surprise, I think. Heck yeah. I love that Tango is there. Okay, wow. <laughs> so, first of all, thanks to BAFTA and all the players who play the game. And personally, I would like to thank my wife, Vanessa, and my kids, <laughs> Mia and Aiden, for the endless support. And, you know, here we're just a bunch of guys receiving this award right now. But behind this and behind the game, it's like a whole gentlemen. team of really passionate animators who bring this game into reality. So this is for them, actually. And <laughs> hey. Always a team effort. Yep. And I know the rules, but just a quick word for the <laughs> in-game lead animator also, Hoichi. So he doesn't speak English Aww. at all. But he will try. He's going to try to speak some <laughs> words in English. It's OK. You can just speak in Japanese. Just say what you want to say to the people you want to say Thank it to. You, Bafta. Eto, in Hi-Fi Rush, syncing animation to music was a challenging task, but it was made pos Passionate. possible thanks to the animation team and everyone involved. Thank you so much. <laughs> you did it! Yeah! yeah. The pressure of reading a foreign language on stage and in front of like however many people are watching on stream is real. Now I love me 
some sure gaming you music. Your own native language. I cannot tell you how many <laughs> that also I've ruined yes. by requesting the menu music from SmackDown. Here comes the pain. <laughs> and as this next award shows, in the last 12 months, there have been some incredible pieces of music filling up our little ear holes. To present the award for music, please welcome it's the composer ear. behind everything from Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse to Little Big Planet. It's Daniel Pemberton. Hey, I mean, this what is a great a audience respect. tonight. Uh, I'm getting some actually, awesome, as much awesome as I love, you know, <laughs> yes, the suit is 100% Austin awesome Powers. Yes, I love more the artists behind these games it. and them being spotlighted here at BAFTA. That is really very special. So thank you for that, BAFTA. Very few people really understand the complexity of writing music for video games. Creating a memorable soundtrack that transport you, transports you to another world is difficult enough. But add to that the demands that that can alter, adapt, and interact in real time, make it one of the most challenging forms of modern musical composition. It's therefore yes. a real honor to present the following works, which have all excelled in this amazing art form. The yeah, nominees for music I think are Rebirth is going to give every gamer run for its money. I was just going music. to say that too. Yeah, dude. Like, I haven't music. played a game yet this year that's like stunned me the way that the the score and the music in Rebirth has. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. And I love that they even wrote scores just for like little side missions. Nothing. They, they just went over this game with a fine tooth comb. Fine tooth comb. The Bow Bow Wow, the dog song. Alan Wake 2. <laughs> the music in Alan Wake was just like something I mean, else. Like inspired the way that they yeah, tied it darkness, together. Man. Has to fit next. If there is any hope of surviving. Burrito and Star YouTube. Wars Jedi yeah, what's good? Welcome. We still streaming. What kind of burrito are you? Baldur's Gate 3. I don't know. I might have to do like a midstream snack of some kind. Ooh, I have my little snack right here. Assassin's Creed it Mirage. Is cheese. Oh, I love a little behind the scenes moment for with the orchestra. That's cool. The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. Oh yeah, it's remade that life. Oh, I'll never forget that. It was so amazing. Like, listen, that show was very long and they don't allow you to have drinks and or the food in the stream. theater at the game awards but I, it was worth Baldur's it to Gate stick 3. for that performance oh, oh Baldur's Gate one yay I'm so happy that's such a tough category look at oh. Oh. that's so cute Good evening, everyone. Obviously, I'm overwhelmed. If, if somebody Spanish told me so 20 years ago that I would be here with you, beautiful Before. people, I wouldn't believe it. So the very first thing I would like to say is thank you to the BAFTA Academy <laughs> and the BAFTA Games members for recognizing the video game music as an art in, in its own right. Thank you yes, so much. Yes, absolutely. I would like to say That's thank you from the bottom terrible. of my heart. I'd never heard that no here. food because it's streamed. That doesn't make the most sense. I just assumed it had to do with the um, them not wanting to pay the extra fee for cleanup. Because like the union yeah, fees associated with no that theater are, are real. By the river. That's why the tickets are so expensive. Um, me from the start to the finish. Yeah, so thank I don't you know. For your I understand them not wanting to have people having alcohol throughout the whole stream because then you know you get people get rowdy and start heckling or whatever towards the end of the show. But like snacks. I would like also to say thank you to to the music team, to my friends and colleagues, 
Victor, Georgi, Dari, and all the beautiful musicians that left a piece of their heart in the music, because I believe that if you don't leave a piece of your heart in the music, nobody can enjoy it, and nobody can truly understand the feelings that were running through your heart during speech ever. the composition process. And at the end, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you in this room for making Aww. this special moment in my life. Thank you so much. Oh, good for you, man. Good for you. That brought a tear to my eye. Girl, I, I got, I'm, it's, it's wet. Host you, I don't know if you knew that the Little Debbie oatmeal cream pie is one well, of my top three Little Debbie to treats. All our winners so <laughs> far. Give it up for everybody. So good. Classic. Now I must go to the store and buy Little Debbie oatmeal cream pies. <laughs> but you could definitely sneak one of those in your bag. We are going to take a moment now to remember some of the individuals of the games industry who are sadly no longer with us. Let's pay tribute to their lives, their unique talents, and the incredible legacy they have left us through their work. Did they say who this vocalist is? I have no idea what this song is. I would love for some Chiron graphics right now. don't know. I imagine yes.
for stopping by, friend. Good to see you. Very nice. I did put. Oh, what's good, Whiskey Jack? Good Thank to see you, you friend. Aaron, Julie, and oh. Daniel for that beautiful performance. I did put a poll up in Twitch about which Our little Debbie snack will rule them all. Beyond entertainment. <laughs> this award what? celebrates those games <laughs> that go above and beyond just simply entertainment. I gotta look, but hopefully you put Star Crunch in there. Politically or this cake roll, and Star Crunch, oat milk cream pie, Present the award for Game Beyond Dion. Entertainment. Uh, Please welcome a recent BAFTA breakthrough Ho voiceover Ho-Ho's, I think, are Mom not little Debbie. Healthy amount of money Host, you're listening to. You'll know her no, as Carla from Bob They're called Swiss rolls, aren't they, for little Debbie? Little Debbie is Swiss cake roll, yeah. Oh, yeah, hostess. Ho hosts are hostess, and Twinkies are too, right? I'm gonna have to filibuster for Star Crunches. There's, how am I the only vote? What is a Star Crunch? Star Crunch was the thing that I used so to get up in the middle of the night as a child to go sneak to the kitchen <laughs> to eat. Moving us. Ooh, are they like have the power to change us. Are they, the they can shift attitudes, introduce oh, us yeah, to new experiences and perspectives. And help to bridge divides between us. It's so tough because I could literally go for any of these right now. If there was all of them in front of me, I'd be like, I need, I need one of, one of each, please. Oatmeal cream pie. Despair and hope. Oh, they have. It's like the marshmallow middle. Yeah, so it's like the two like very soft oatmeal cookies. I use the word oatmeal very loosely here. I say those are overrated. It's got like marshmallow fluff frosting in the middle. No, how dare you? They're delicious. I literally just said <laughs> they're, they're amazing. They're top three for me. Uh, you know, I'm glad that you have that life. <laughs> but I will do zebra cakes all day. Anybody's not getting any love. Oh, goodbye, Volcano Hive. Of Senar. So many games. Only one of me. It's a travesty. <laughs> if I say that about oatmeal out loud, I'm going to summon cock. Punctified. Bring ass in here. You're not wrong. You have to be him. careful when talking Tear about oatmeal meal. and cookie in the same sentence. So I'll bring his ass in here. Do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is, is Zebra purple. Cakes the winner? It better be. Come on. Zebra oh. cakes are are great. Our they are great. Are now I now I want zebra students. cakes too. Yeah, those Guess I'm going to the grocery store. store. Hope you're ready for some long delayed emotional I used to have a bit that zebra cakes were made with zebra and too many people believed it. What really? No. Had to retire the bit. Yeah. You know, no, come on. Yeah. Yeah. At the end, are you surprised by that, though, really? <laughs> no. I am. It's like a pastry item. You think like animal meats in Well, there? I said Maybe. it would be like, it was like zebra essence. And people were like, that's, oh, that seems and illegal. It seems like you have really a lot of dummies that are around you, Maria. They're everywhere. Oh, look at Broadcast, that's not a hot take. It's okay to just say that they're not for you. Yeah. 
the dude you put nutty buddies in the freezer doesn't that like break your teeth uh, they're not wrong it really is very heavy you know that's really good um, in the freezer peppermint little peppermint yes patties. i had a chance oh. to i've got peppermint patties in my freezer right now Rifo, oh, who God, is the so game director on cheer <coughs> and also the co-founder and Alistair. um the and girl scout a thin mints list of people that he would like me to thank uh, so i will try and remember them all for you now uh, to begin with he wanted to thank thierry and Mary Lou and the entire Our Seb family who I am confident are watching today. Thirsty Panda, I'm with together, you, Star so Crunch. Congratulations. One of my faves. The caramel also wanted coating with Garibarian the crunchy rice pieces. And oh, everyone just at Kepler Interactive. Hit the spot. Oh, yeah, Samoas are very good. That is true. Are they? Uh, but wouldn't it freeze the caramel? Sony, like, the thing I love about Samoas is how, like, there's, like, the, the uh, soft gooiness of the caramel layer. I think there's a sweet spot, and then it just kind of melts just right. It's kind of like a this cool, this creative caramel, like an ice cream, you know? And it's to like thank little, all of the nominees as well. Mm. So with that, I just have to say thank you, merci, again, and Oleti. Is it because we're streaming over the lunch hour here on the west coast of the United States? Probably. Maybe. Am I going to break into my daughter's time goldfish? Who could say? Absolutely you are. <laughs> this time Absolutely about you are. an upcoming game from previous BAFTA winner, Zyber, Zyber Scott, who created one of 2020's most celebrated games, Kind what? Words. Okay, He's here to tell us about break? its hotly anticipated sequel, Kind Words 2. I'm Ziva Scott. I run a small game studio in Boston called Pop Cannibal. In 2020, we won a Games Beyond Entertainment BAFTA for our game, Kind Words, Lo-Fi, Chill Beats to Write To. <laughs> kind Words is a game about writing nice letters to people. What is worrying you or stressing you out, and you post it anonymously P -P -P online for everybody to see. It I don't really know what that is. Uh, Pop tarts? Is that what you're trying to talk about? You could imagine no. To share with Something different. Into this game, it's been a journey for us to try and understand where do you go from there. Winning the BAFTA enhanced my ability to connect to all these people that I, I didn't know before. For example, Katerin and Ellen, who made my child's living born, another BAFTA. Winner. So we had a lovely call together and chatting about what can game. Oh, thanks do for hanging out, space. Termite. We're hoping that Kindwoods 2 is going to be able to Mine's still, thankfully, uh, beautiful, safe, at daycare for another few hours. Connection. <laughs> and there's all these uh, little players walking around that you can talk to. You can say, hi, how are you, to anyone. That's, in a way, what the BAFTAs uh, have okay, done for like me by connecting one. me. And it's, in a way, what we're trying to do you. with Kindwoods 2 uh, is to provide yeah. everybody with connections with strangers all over the world in the hopes that some of them will just change you or them oh, a little bit might. for the better. Hope your kiddo had fun at preschool. Yeah, yeah, you guys are getting to the end of the work Our day on the East Coast. Is technical achievement. Uh, by which I don't mean something that's only technically an achievement, mm. like when I eat five bowls of ramen in one go. These oh my gosh, five bowls of ramen? Arts. How did you survive? Brilliant games require brilliant that minds to make them work. Yeah, and behind just the sheer grass, amount of liquid. Every perfect sunrise and every exploding <laughs> goblin head is an incredibly talented creative working incredibly hard. The next award celebrates the best in technical achievement of the last 12 months. And to present the award, co-founder of Black Twitch UK and this year's Games London Ensemble, it's Ebonix. <laughs> What? Did you get yourself some snacks? No. I didn't. I might have to send my the studio ghost. Uh oh. Is that what am I getting? Unsung heroes. Uh oh. Without the technical talent, I guess goldfish. <laughs> you guys have veggie straws in there too. We wouldn't be able to too crunchy. Crisp, make a lot of noise. <laughs> she was like, what about the veggie straws? Like, mm. too much noise. The, nominees for the outfit. Oh my god. Technical achievement. Oh. Surprise me. Starfield. Is this the first category they've been nominated for? I think so. Yeah, part, I think of so. Our part of our family. Final Fantasy that game is 16. Very well
Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Alan Wake 2. Spider-Man. Spider right, but how do you not just give it to Insomniac just for the fast travel? Yes. I mean, like, it's just, it literally was like magic. It was magical. Horizon, Call of the Mountain. Basta goes to. Yeah, I had a feeling. I mean, because when they did, you could make a case for all these the games, kingdom. but the way they did that whole fusion system or whatever the heck the actual term is, you know, where you could make anything and do any solve puzzles in infinitely different ways, pretty impressive. But again, it's just a different category. You can make a case for all of them. Very honored to be receiving this award on behalf of our team in Japan. Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom features new Here's mechanics such as Ultra Hand and Fuse, which allow players to combine Ah, thank you, Makara. We appreciate that. Almost any way oh, thank you. Uh, they can think of. On the technical side, the development team worked extremely hard to ensure that the gameplay experience was as enjoyable. I just noticed his pin. I didn't see it possible. before. <gasps> thank you again, Basta. That for is amazing. Thank you so much. Very cute. Very fun. I love this the writing for this one. I'm sure the director of the Baptist is like, God bless the Nintendo Our rep for keeping it brief. Our <laughs> alumni story is about the team behind <laughs> Hellblade. The haunting game is back with Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. Aww. So let's hear from Ninja Theories, Dom and Melina. This is shaping up to be a good one. I'm Don Matthews, studio head here at Ninja Theory. Hi, my name is Melina Jurgens, and I play Senua and Hellblade. I am Ninja Theory's character performance ninja. And the winner is... Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice! Hellblade! Hellblade! Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice! It was incredible. We went to the awards with uh, a few nominations, and we were hoping that maybe we could win one award. So when we won that first award, it was uh, amazing. Games can aspire to and achieve a remarkable exploration of uh, the state of the mind and the state of mental suffering. It's been a real pleasure and a real <gasps> honor to be part of this. My goldfish savior. Often be invisible oh, I love a medley. Thank you. Entertainment. They can have a big impact on people's Listen, lives. Maria calling me out for eating a cookie for breakfast is accurate. I only did have a cookie for breakfast. Making something that left people thinking and feeling was really I had a... Uh, when we went back through awards, it suddenly nice. put the studio on a different map. I will do my best to mute my microphone, everybody, so you're not getting no, the like ASMR, ASMR of me no, having no. We're used to snacks on stream. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be a stream without it. So, Senua Saga Hellblade 2, it takes Senua to 10th century Iceland. Well, I know Iceland, it really, like, where she I know it really bothers some people. people. From slavery. Senua I is still experiencing psychosis, but she has grown to better understand her unique perspective. Or, or, or when you're like doing a multiplayer game and everyone's on a headset, yeah. that one person who like doesn't Beautiful move the mic away and they're just like, <laughs> <a story laughs> you on that very yeah. and you're like, um, <laughs> hey, could you, could you mute, could you mute, thanks. He just new mute world. Me. Unlike I mean, film or, or literature where you're a spectator, games give you that opportunity to see the world through someone else's eyes and help to understand the world as they see it. I need to play Hellblade, Andrea, but I'm nervous because last time I played it, it was a very stressful experience. You have all these whispers coming in your ear all around you, and it's like very mentally taxing. I the know I focal point of most good games is the lead character. Whether it's a slick martial arts expert, a deadly secret agent, or a small circle with a mouth that Yeah, I've been meaning to go back because I only played the first like couple of award, hours and I've had it downloaded role, please forever and I've also been putting it off because about fear. Roles, the fabulous David Harewood. Thank you. Uh, 
the lead role in a game is vital. It's how the players view the entire world. And as this next category shows, in the last 12 months, we've been treated to some phenomenal lead performances from some of the most talented members of the industry that we've ever seen. The nominees for performance in a leading role are. Again. Performer in a leading role. This flavor is exquisite as spiced wine. Amelia Tyler as Mary. It is not quite your last, but I will stop it. May. Dad. Naji Jeter as Miles Morales. They were here. They were the ones to stop thinking about them. They want us to help people. To fight. I was a slave. A vampire. Wait, the dude are eating Pokemon Graham crackers? Bond. That, that sounds scary. cool. But now. Blair? Wow. I can live in two places. I can live in some ways. Trespass upon any home. Manipulate minds. You let me walk my own path. I, I have to. not played Alien Isolation. Cameron Monaghan as Cal Kestis. 100%. Nope. I'm good. I don't need to do that to myself. Means to be a Jedi. But props to everyone who has. To feel terrified. Samantha Bayard as Carla. But to be here with you in the city I love, in this world that I love so much, it's all I could really ask. Oh my God, all, ev all these people are so mean? talented. These last few ah. days. Yuri Lowenthal as Peter Parker. Miles, I'm sorry. I know he's not a favorite to win, but I really love Yuri's performance in this game. I thought he really went places with Peter Parker that we hadn't seen yet in this franchise. And the BAFTA goes to... Naji Jita as Miles Morales! Oh, okay. uh, good for him. So if you haven't played that game yet, I guess get a PlayStation 5 first. <laughs> yeah, fair. If you have a PlayStation 5 and haven't played that game yet, go play that game. Whoa, I uh, definitely did not expect this <laughs> and definitely do not have any notes written because I mean, going my big bro and my other big bro, Neil, Nerd, Yuri, it's crazy. I mean, I did not expect this at all. Thank you, BAFTA. Thank you, God. Thank you, my family. Thank you, Insomniac, Sony, Marvel. I mean, it takes a village and a team to, you know, get this job done. And you all know the hard work that it takes. And, uh, whew, yeah, Aww. yeah. First time in London. Y'all look amazing. <laughs> yeah, do the kid. Ben Thank Star. you. I love you. Incredible. Now I gotta That's figure fine. out how to pack Absolutely this. Absolutely incredible. I gotta figure out how to pack this. I hear you. Yeah, I know, right? Don't worry, they will that. ship it to you because they, what they do is they engrave it. That's the way award ceremonies work. A little BTS. Is that you get it and you get to take photos All with right, it. Everyone, we made it. And then they the usually take it from you and then Best engrave it and then ship around. it to you. Oh, well, that makes sense. The because obviously they can't engrave it ahead of the fact because then it would be. Right. Right, right. This is the final hardest boss of the night. The Dr. Robotnik, the Bowser, the any enemy in Elden Ring. <laughs> the games in this category are all extraordinary. If it were up to me, I'd give them all the awards. Uh, but it isn't up to me. And if it were, that would be a waste of best everyone's game. time. Best game. I love how it's just called To present the award game. for best game, please welcome an industry legend. The man behind titles like Doom, Wolfenstein, and Quake. It's the one and only John Romero. It is an interesting kind of semantics thing of like best game. Thank you, thank you. What an honor it is to be here tonight. The scope and scale of talent on show in this evening's ceremony is <laughs> been mind blowing. Doc, and what was the poll? What Who won the poll? Was it Baldur's Gate? In 2024, I can't wait for 2025. The titles in this next category have achieved something special. They all have that spark of genius, that unknowable quality that you can just sense when you first pick up a controller. 
from small indies to AAA titles, all of the games nominated in this final award share one yeah, thing. Yeah, Pants, Baldur's Gate, we players um, know lost a few other that categories they will earlier on. They did the win the best score. And we'll be enjoying score. them for years to come. And the nominees best for best game so. are... Best game. Andrew, have you ever been to a Zelda concert before? A live concert? Not a Zelda concert specifically, no. Let me say it. I'm going to dress you as Zelda. I'm going to wear Link garb. And we're going to go Lark. Maria, you want to come? I can pick a character for you, too. Doc, of course. Free. If the Game Awards ever does that concert again, you absolutely must fly down. I know. It was incredible. Oh, yeah. I miss the concerts. It was video games Day live for a while. Mm -hmm. and a bunch of other spin-offs. Zelda Orchestra, which is going for years on end. That was amazing. Final Fantasy concert. There's one coming up, actually. Super Mario Brothers Wonder. I think I could be into a Final Fantasy concert now. Okay, Doc is gonna be a Pona. Okay, great. Okay. So Doc, you know that means that Andrea and I got our full ride in on three. you, right? You know what? Based off who's won the awards tonight though, I think Zelda has a really strong chance of winning tonight. And the BAFTA goes yeah. to, yeah. Dave the Diver. Gate 3. <laughs> I was gonna say, what if there's like a big upset, like an untitled goose game moment? And they're like, we won all these awards and you're never getting Baldur's Gate again. <laughs> Which is not true, because on the red carpet, they go, the rep from Wizards of the Coast said, of course, we're talking about what's oh, the future yeah. of Baldur's Gate. It's just going to be with a different studio. Yeah, we're not getting the Larian Baldur's Gate, but that's that's fine. Larian has, like, set the most pristine crown. They, they, they built the runway. Nothing They've set an impossible bar to me. They're like, oh, yeah, you're going to make Baldur's Gate after us? Good luck. I know, and that's what I'm scared of. <laughs> they mic dropped at the exact right time. We brought a bit of theme. Aww. We'll Aww. wait for them to be here. Um, thank you. Thank you, BAFTA. Thank you, everybody. Um, I still can't believe we're standing here. We, you look at the footage of all the games that have been nominated, and they, they look so fantastic. And I, I look at every single image of, of the game that we've made, and I know how much work went into it, how much effort the team put into every single microsecond of this incredibly large, large game that took us so long to make. Um, it's a testament to their incredible talent. They're I representative know what they're of working almost on all next. of our departments. Uh, so sleeping, um, I think. A lot of people put a lot of no, effort, a lot of hard work. They're on their next project. Soul, like, what uh, is it? Really, right? a lot it's of not themselves divinity. into uh, making Baldur's Gate 3. So this is amazing. Uh, so, so I want to thank our team. Uh, I want to thank uh, our friends uh, and family who supported us through what were sometimes really, really hard times. Uh, our partners who have been amazing. There's really a truckload of partners that helped us make this game. We didn't do this on our own. It's like a, I once counted it, I came at over 2,000 people that worked in Baldur's Gate 3, which is incredible, over six years. Um, I'm forgetting people to thank, but uh, our actors, because there's so many. No, Juan, we didn't. We were on our uh, little our hiatus beard. when the year uh, rolled over, so we didn't so do our Game of the Year list or episode like we normally do. Here. No. Uh, so, uh, so thank you. And we also thank didn't do our much. most anticipated. This is super appreciated. You're and you look fantastic. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Take care. But we yeah, will do our game of the year so far. <laughs> oh yeah, game of the year so far.
Well, congrats, Laren. Yes. So well deserved. Studio. It's gotta be like a closing zinger, right? What do you think? I thought normally they just like send the host out to be like, okay, wrap it up, let's go. Let's get out of here. Everyone's hungry and wants to get drunk. <laughs> Isn't that hungry? Yes. Well, there we have it. That was the 2024 BAFTA Games Awards. Congratulations to all of tonight's winners, but also everyone who was nominated. You have all raised gaming to a whole new level, and you should be extremely proud. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. A round of applause. Oh, 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 sorry. I won't leave you hanging. Yeah. A round. Okay. And personally, I cannot wait to see what advancements you have in store for us next year. Even quicker quick saves. Haptic constructive feedback. <laughs> a loading screen that tells you how you're going to die. Nano transactions. Anything is no. possible in this industry. Thank you again to all of our partners for your continued support. And BAFTA is also proud to partner every year with the London Games Festival, which in 2024 has reached its ninth edition. I hate this side. I, I appreciate that. I don't think it's a delusion. It has These are tough categories. How do you think the team at Insomniac this feels? Ceremony is now yeah. over. But remember, you can now select They made an incredible game too and didn't take home trophies and tonight. And start the whole thing again with any awards you've won, but my jokes will be harder to understand. <laughs> I'll see you all at the after party. Shelly Blonde Croft is Manor. taking us all back to Croft Manor, and we're going to lock her butler in the freezer. <laughs> it's so fun, trust me. But for now, thank you all for coming, and thank you all for watching online. I'm Phil Wang, and until next year, good night. Good night, Phil Wang. That was fun. It was fun. All right. Oh, oh, he's got a peely in his pocket. That's nice. Shout out to whatever editor had to mad dash all of this red carpet <laughs> footage to the editing bay and like cut this montage together. I see you. That's a hard thing to do. You did it. You did it, person, whoever you are. Good job. Thanks for hanging out, Doc. Appreciate you. All right. Let me just like, let me try to grooming. slow fade this music. I guess I could just keep it on in the background. Um, well, thank you so much to everybody for joining us and thank you to the BAFTA Games Awards for sponsoring the stream and helping us bring a oh, fantastic content opportunity to all of you out there who are watching and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, share the VOD, tweet about it, let people know, en engage with the with the stream and, and with the VOD that really helps us out. We really appreciate all of that support and thank you so much. Uh, to everybody who's been a fan of the show, you know, hoping to do more streaming. I know we've been a little MIA from Twitch for the last 18 months. To a, how old are our children? They're going to be three. Almost three, baby. Ugh. What is time? I know. Who I knows? Know. Um, a huge thank you to all of our wonderful Twitch and YouTube mods. And special shout out to Doc Brooke for helping us out. And to Susu Dip Maria for helping me out here in studio. And hopefully you guys will enjoy the podcast tomorrow that Rihanna and I do and have some conversations about some interesting stuff, including Destiny 2. And yes, I'm fully obsessed with Bellatro, everybody. Oh, it's you taken know, over I, my, I it's taken over my life. I, I figured, I, I've heard, um, it's, it seems like an Andrew Yoss game. I'm staying away from it because like, listen, I don't got time. Yeah, there's no time. Like I, I still have Harold the Halibut to play which comes out in a couple of days. And I'm hoping to talk about that on the show next week. And as I mentioned, oh. still got to finish Final Fantasy and get our spoiler cast with our girl Alexa Ray scheduled. Lots well, happening, I Fred. Have, well, let me tell you what. I just saw that Warhorse tweeted this, tweeted this out. Warhorse Development Studio Kingdom Come Deliverance. 
um, they just put out a little teaser saying new game reveal coming Thursday, April 18th. What? Do I do I do I know what it is? Did I see it recently? Maybe. Who <gasps> knows? I guess I'll have to wait until next week to find Ooh, out. <laughs> secrets. I love so that excited. for us. Very exciting. It'll be, very It'll be a fun episode next week. Indeed. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for us. Enjoy the rest of your night, your morning, your weekend, whatever time zone you're in. And uh, don't forget to check out the podcast. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye.